my life before I came into the refuge. I was um, beat up, worn out, tired. Really a 14 year heroin addiction that had caused me to be in prison three times and jails and rehabs. And so for 40 years I have been getting high, drinking, drugging, and uh, doing the things uh, that I had no business doing. I didn't want to give God the time of day. There was no bitter, it was just I was so involved in myself and my drug addiction I didn't even have, I didn't even think about God. I could no longer feel anything in my heart. I could no longer actually um, function without getting up and doing an opiate. My life was a train wreck before I came to the refuge. I had several occasions of, you know, just trying to get high, being dope sick, not being able to get up out of bed. Just living place to place, under bridges, uh, you know, and on the streets, sidewalks, uh, different states, you know, different people. Um, just, yeah, uh, drug-induced uh, crime activity. Uh, all these little things of the world I had lost, but more importantly, I, I was lost uh, from inside of me. This, my soul was lost. I had exhausted every bit of happiness I'd ever had. I was um, on my knees praying for God to uh, give me away, and uh, my phone rang. And somebody told me about the refuge. Um, I think it was after losing custody of my kid and spending about two winters homeless that I decided that enough was enough and I came to the refuge. I didn't know it was like uh, religious or anything, but I just thought it was like a rehab, but it was, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, found God. It's been 17 months now and what blessings I have being clean. Not only being clean, but most of all, giving my life, surrendering my will over to Jesus Christ is what changed me. Just so much good has come out of being here. And I know who I am now. I'm learning to walk in sonship. I'm learning to walk and be the son of God that he created me to be. It's so not about quitting doing drugs or anything like that. Um, it's just about getting to know Jesus. And the next thing you know, everything that I always tried so hard to quit, it just came as a byproduct. Um, it's like, I don't even try. You know, I seek him. It's true, it's true what they say. Seek him and the rest will be added. Because I seek his face and him and everything else. Um, joy, peace, love, happiness, gratitude, all that just comes. When Jesus pulled me out of my funk, it was less than two days that I didn't need any suboxone, any methadone, any of that crap. All I needed was the Lord. And he brought me back up, put me on my feet, set me down the right path. And I wanted to know what was missing from the last time I was here. And it was that personal relationship with Jesus. So once I came here, I got a solid relationship with Christ. And I saw some serious change. I, I see things in the world now through the love of Christ that um, I wish I had 20 years ago. He'll take all your muck, all your sickness, everything. And bring you back to health and put you back on the right track. He's the only thing you need. Now I can just rest knowing that Christ died on the cross for me. I didn't do anything to earn it. He, he just is giving it to me. It's a gift because he loves me. You got people that go through this, that they go through the mud with you, you know. But, you know, you go through it with a lot of, uh, you know, other brothers that are going through the same thing, getting up early with you, going through the same stuff, you keep a positive attitude and all that with each other, and, uh, yeah, just get through it together. It's like, you know, it's pretty cool. I was a vase that was cracked and it was leaking, and the Holy Spirit came in me, and, and he filled those cracks. And I, I, But in order to, for me to keep the grace that's inside this vase, I have to pour it out on others in order to fill it back up.